Hi guys, um, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Hallie and I've been wanting to do YouTube for about, I would say about probably the last five or six years, but I've just never got around to doing it. I'd always be like to my friends, oh, I want to do it, I want to do it, never happen. So here I am, I feel like vlogging is like a great idea because you kind of capture the real you and I feel like if I was like, when I watch videos I always look for people that are actually like having fun, like if it's fashion it's either I'm shopping or I've just got home from the shops and I'm like well, here's what I bought and I want you to see it, which is still, it could be included in the vlog. Um, so yeah, I've got some stuff that I have bought recently that I feel like I might as well just get into it, start the ball rolling and just kind of show you what like, I'm about, things that I like, things that are new, for me anyway, so maybe not for you, let me know what you think. Um, so I was shopping the other day and in Zara, I've got a new um, selection of candles, but not in Zara home, actually in the actual Zara clothing store. I found like really like amazing, like how can they actually have candles in store now so it's like really accessible. Here's the candle and it's called Mystery. Sorry, the box is actually empty, but yeah, it's lovely. It's symbols are of an endless creative impulse based on green notes and floral flashes that endlessly expand in the undefined oasis of space and time. So I don't know if that means anything to you, but I think that you, but I think that if you go in there and just have a look and it's, it smells fantastic, I'll show you how it's packaged. So it's kind of like an, a faux leather and it's really like chic and just really nice. Um, it looks how it smells like it, I don't know if that makes sense, but it looks expensive and it, it smells like one of those candles that you get from like, I don't know, Liberty or John Lewis or something where you would spend like, I don't know, 90 pound on a candle or something. It actually smells like how you want your whole house to smell and how you probably want your actual body to smell as well. It's really, really nice. As you can see, I've actually used it already. Um, even I lit it once and then I had it on the side and it wasn't even lit and I could smell it from my bed. Like my bed is probably about, <laughs> four footsteps away from so it was up on the counter and I could actually smell it so that's how strong the scent is I would say that they could finish finish it off a bit better but to be honest once it's when it's sitting facing the right way it doesn't matter it's just for the purpose of the scent really so amazing thanks Zara and that was that was 12 99 so it's a bargain it's really good the next thing I've got is also another item from Zara, which I picked up at the same time. Um, this, I don't really buy, I, I buy fragrances from Zara sometimes, but not all the time. Like, and I just thought, I smelt this and I was with my friend at the time and she liked the other one. I don't, I can't remember what that one's called, but I liked this one. This one's called Nude Bouquet. Um, and it's just, yeah, it reminds me of the scent Blooming Bouquet, which I previously used, and as you can see, it's actually empty now. So this is, I think it was fifteen ninety nine, which is a bargain in comparison to this, which is probably like, I don't know, 60, 70 pounds or something ridiculous. But this is a smaller version, so it's probably a bit cheaper. But if you get what I'm saying, like, <laughs> the size difference is like phenomenal for the price. And I feel like this is actually quite a bit more stronger. So you probably get... I don't know, it probably doesn't last as long, but the actual scent is like a stronger scent. So um, try it out and just let me know what you think. Like if you think, if you agree with me, let me know. If you don't, then <laughs> I don't know, it's up to you. You can let me know or just don't, or just give it yourself. Either way, this is a phenomenal scent and I will probably rebuy it again. My next item is, I was in Topshop and I've had my ears pierced for the past, probably, I think I got my first ear piercing when I was about 14 or something ridiculous, a little bit of a rebel, but <laughs> yeah, I got uh, one, two, three, four on one ear, and I've got another four on the other ear, um, but I've had these ones for, yeah, since I was about 14, and I built up, I've got two more when I was about 16, so I had one when I was 14, two more when I was six, 16. And then on this ear recently, I had none except for my normal 
studs and then obviously I got them done when I was really really young but um yeah so I just went to the piercing shop decided that I want to get kind of match it up a bit and decided to get this ear done um which is my left ear and I'm telling you like I forgot how much it actually hurts to <laughs> Like, it doesn't hurt when you get it done, but it takes forever to heal. And I remember when I was younger complaining about it, thinking, like, I can't sleep. Um, I remember it weeping, throbbing, and I just put up with it, and it gradually just healed. Which, so now I've just been trying to, like, salt water it and, like, kind of just keep it clean all the time to help it to heal. But it's still, it's been about two months now, and it is, it's getting to the point where it's nearly healed, but sometimes it goes... It heals and then it just decides it just wants to, I think it's just got a mind of its own at the moment, but hopefully it will heal soon. So, back to the story. Topshop, they're doing these like earrings where it's four piercings and they've got actual ones with like flat back studs, which are good for like our cartilage piercings as well. But these ones are for like, a lot of Instagrammers have earrings like these. Um, if I show you, and that they're like, more expensive brands so you'll probably see them on like Maria Tash and people like that who if you go onto her Instagram she's um she does a lot of like in like different piercings and different like really nice pieces like jewelry pieces which are probably a price from like I don't know $80 to $100 $300 like but it's really they are they're real gold real silver so obviously they're gonna be I think some of them actually have diamonds in them as well so they're really expensive but this is my <laughs> attempt of Maria Tash at the moment um I think she actually if you did want to see her um I don't know whether that's focusing or not um if you did want to see her pieces um you could always go to Liberty um and I think that the piercing shop in Liberty actually uses her jewellery as like you could buy the piece and get the piercing done at the same time like the jewellery is phenomenal basically so if you have 200 300 pound to spend on ear piercings then go ahead and have a look um i think i will in the future probably consider it but just as now obviously i'm still there's other priorities so yeah i noticed that they've actually got a huda cosmetic stand now which is amazing like I've always wanted to like I've bought stuff from Cult Beauty before like her eyelashes her lipsticks um and they're phenomenal so I decided to go back and buy her her, her actual lip contour which is like the lip liner which is in the colour trendsetter um and then I've got the actual matte lipstick which is in trendsetter as well and then bombshell which which is a matte lipstick as well. I previously purchased them from Cold Beauty, the full size ones. Um, I can show them to you probably or in another video or something, but they are phenomenal. I'm currently wearing at the moment Bombshell and I find that I've, I've tried out Kat Von D. Um, her ones are good, they stay, they last. The only thing is I feel like you don't get an actual overall like flush, like you still see the creases in your lips if that makes sense like obviously like maybe i need to exfoliate my lips a bit more or something but i generally feel like one now it's like you get a, a flush kind of seamless look which is what i wanted so huda's ones they are actually really good i have never tried kylie jenner's ones but to be honest like shipping is like the, the tax and everything it's just it's for me, that's long, like I don't really have the time to be doing that. Maybe, I know you can get them from, I've been to like Knightsbridge and Greens Park and you can get them from the pharmacies around there, but I think they charge like double the price. So maybe like have a look around, tell me what you think. If you think the Kylie Jenner lipsticks are good, maybe I'll try them. But as of now, it's Huda at the moment, so. So I also picked up, um, there's in Selfridges, this Huda palette as well in her section. Um, it is amazing. I would say that, in comparison to the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette as well, which I bought ages ago. Um, and there is a big difference between the two. Um, Huda's one, I would say, is a bit more pigmented in the way of, it is like, the colors are very dramatic. As you can see, see I've actually hit the bottom of the pan, so <laughs> it shows how much I actually like it. They, they give you a step-by-step -step guide of how to use it. So the first one, which is this one, they say to use this all over your face, um, which can be very dramatic, especially if you're going to work and you, I don't know, get on the train at six o'clock in the morning and everyone's looking at you like, what's wrong with her face? Um, 
<laughs> yeah, but um, this is, yeah, this is a cream. But when it actually goes on the face, I don't really see the difference between all three, really. But um, this is really nice. It gives you, like, an overall glow. Um, and then I think, obviously, this is my second, well, first and second, no, this is my first favourite, and then this is my second favourite. This one is more used for, like, a contour. So if you want to highlight your cheekbones, but, like, in the, like, the deep bit, so the actual contour bit, then you'd use this. And then to highlight above, you could use th this colour as well. And then this is for, like, used for the blush. Um, I don't really use blush because... I'd rather just look gold all over, to be honest. That's me. Maybe some people would prefer it. It's weird, though, because my friend, we went to Harvey Nichols because we wanted to see the Rihanna collection and see how her highlights look. But we got there and apparently the queue was shut, which was really weird because the store wasn't shut. So we kind of missed it. So hopefully I'll go back and see it again. But she wanted to actually see, like, actually buy a highlighter for from the Rihanna counter but obviously we didn't get to go in so I mentioned to her that I'm actually currently using the Huda one um, and I said to her let's go to Harrods so we went to Harrods and um, she tried it on and to be honest like she is um, she's a, she wears a similar colouring but she's a little bit darker I didn't say darker it's just a different tone and maybe one day I'll introduce you to her on my channel and you'll get to see the difference but at the time she really didn't like the colours like a, I think there's like a midnight palette or something like it's got like um like purples in it like it's absolutely crazy but I feel like well the women were saying that it actually works like you could actually make it look really nice so maybe that's something I could try as well maybe I'll buy buy that next time I go into the store but yeah I completely I love this it's like amazing um and then the Anastasia Beverly Hills one I loved at the time as well because I've hit the bottom of the pan as well um and yeah, as usual, I use really similar tones, um, like the bronzy tones. This one's quite light, so I can't really see that much of a difference on my skin. And this one is really good for like highlighting your nose. Like when you go out, like clubbing, and, like clubbing, it really stands out. It's really like striking. So um, these are the two that I currently use at the moment. I also use Mac Gold Deposit as well, which is like an everyday thing for work. I'll just I've always used it, I think I've used it for about 10 years now, um, and I buy it, when it runs out I'll buy it again and again, so, um, yeah, starters are the best thing ever, yeah, currently I'm wearing bronzer, um, Nars Laguna, and then I'm wearing this, plus I've, I wear about four different creams on my face, if you want me to do like a tutorial on like certain creams that I'm wearing or skincare. Like I'm really into Korean cosmetics as well at the moment. I go to, I've been to Chinatown and like there's a store there and you end up spending, like my friend and I, we went in there. She's not even into Korean products, but I think she spent about 70 pounds. So <laughs> if you have time, there, it's basically off of Chinatown's main strip, um, at the end of it, not towards um, Trocadero side, towards the other end near, um, Leicester Square station, there's like a little street and you can go down and there's like a shop, like a little boutique shop that has like loads of different Korean products. But the, the women in there are really lovely, really helpful. Um, obviously everything's in Korean or Japanese as well. So it, they are more than happy to translate and help you if you need help, but their products are amazing. Their face masks are amazing. I will get some face masks and my next, on my next video I'll show you like like my favourite ones, um, but to be honest, the majority of the ones that I've actually bought are amazing. Um, I do know that TK Maxx, they sell them as well, and they are like 2 99 in TK Maxx, and they're the same ones. My next thing I would like to show you is actually a Korean product. So this is what, I found this in Selfridges in their, it's like their beauty haul, it's not a beauty haul bit, but it's like, I think the brand's called Tony Molly, like he, I think Colt Beauty stocked them as well, but they are amazing, like, you need to try them. Section basically just for beauty, it's not actually stands, they're like, they're stands included, but it's like more international brands. So here's the Iboran, or Iborian, Iborain, Iborain, <laughs> here's the Iborain. <laughs> I need to find out how. Anyway, so this is a skin highlighter. Cream makes your skin look like after I put my, I put three different creams on. I'll put this on as well, and I just it just helps me to get the overall dewy look. I think, um, especially when like you just look a bit like tired. Um, 
But yeah, it's just a Korean secret to a visibly perfect complexion. Um, High-tech, multi-use formulas that help you to improve the appearance of your skin. So yeah, I feel like it says what what you'd hope it would say, to be honest. And it's, I think it was like £17 or £15 between that bracket, 15 to £20, I don't know. So I feel like it would last forever. Here's the actual packaging of it. It's just, I feel like it's a good purchase. Um, try it and let me know what you think as well. Uh, if you already have it, also let me know whether you think it's good or not. Um, and then last but not least, I have um, my secret, <laughs> secret, but I have a love-hate relationship with this product in a sense of I bought this probably about a year and a half ago um, and I, first of all, I went into Space and K and I was like, I think I bought, I think I bought Eve Long or something, like a cream from Space and K and I wore that, loved it, loved it, and then I didn't like it. It started breaking me out. Um, and I got some little sample sachets to go with like, with my purchase. And this was one of the sample sachets. And basically, this worked like amazingly. And I kept using the sachets, but I was using tiny amounts because I was like, I can't afford to buy this at the moment because it's 100, I think it's like 127 pound at the time. And I think I was like just starting off in my career but I ended up buying it and then I used it, but I found that when I started using it, it wasn't the same as the sachets, but I don't know whether it was in my head or not. So about two months ago, three months ago, I basically picked this back up and started using it again. And it's really, it's become part of my everyday skincare, skincare routine. It's called this um, Glamoxy Snake Serum by Rod Rodeo. And it's, it's amazing, like, I feel like a lot of the, Rodeal products and nip and fab products in which you can get in boots are like amazing like the gylocoric acid um, Scrubs are like that like their pads are like amazing like they're I think they're about ten to eight to ten pound Sometimes they're on offer you can get them for six pounds as well, but they I use them on a regular basis as well but With this paired with this it's your skin just I don't know maybe you'll think my skin is bad, but I think that this pays off and it's worth the money. Um, it says that it's a, it's, it's basically supposed to make your skin like freeze. Even though I'm young, I know I don't need it, but at the same time, it just gives you that, that instant like glow and just, it feels, apparently it's supposed to fill in lines and boost complexion glow. I feel like it boosts complexion glow. Obviously fill in lines is, maybe it will help me as I get older. Um, I'm current, I'm 24 by the way, but um, yeah. So maybe when I hit the late 20s, going into 30s, it will help. So yeah, amazing product. Um, I suggest that you try it. Get some samples from Space NK and let me know what you think again. I'm going to try and post two videos a week and then we'll see how it goes. And then yeah, hopefully this you like how this video went. Let me know if you want like a Q&A. That will probably help you to get to know me. So yeah like let me know what you think and um please subscribe please like all the blah 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 videos yes i know um maybe i'll talk about music what i'm into and also other vloggers that i watch not vloggers bloggers youtubers whatever it is other youtubers that i watch maybe i'll speak about them as well because i am really like fuss not fussy but there are people that i like to watch and there are people that i really like to watch so let me know what you think um and yeah just give me loads of ideas i've already got a, like a, a list of ideas like my friends and i have come like we're planning on doing videos on not just like beauty makeup that would probably just be me but also like life experiences like i feel like at this age now i'm 24 and it's weird how you notice how a year can make such a big difference on like your like wisdom and <laughs> like like the way you think like your mind completely I think anyway I don't know about maybe everyone hits that point at different stages in their life and maybe when I'm 27 or 28 I'll look back and think what were you even talking about Hallie like what was you actually talking about but now I feel like I feel like I've got advice to give and my friends like I get a lot of advice from them and we kind of exchange words so I feel like the conversations will flow and I feel like it'd be really good to actually video that um, whether it's to do with relationship advice career advice, life advice. Please like and subscribe and let me know what you think.
I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye. So, rookie mistake. My first video, I didn't want nothing to be in the background, yeah? Guess what? This thing is in, <laughs> this thing is in the shot. How, how is that possible? So this is <laughs> a sombrero. It's a, how do I pronounce that? This is a Mexican hat, basically. And my mum, yeah, long story short, she went on holiday, fancy dress party, and this, for some reason, ended up being in the frame. So apologies, um, and going forward, I will try and make sure that this never happens again. <laughs> but see you later, guys.